Hey everyone, Brian here with DIY Outdoor Life. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at this Ace Volt 2000. This is a high performance, very well built portable power station. I've absolutely loved it during the couple months of testing that I've done. They're delivering this unit for a lot less money than some of the competition. So I have a link in my description that gives you a couple hundred dollars off free shipping factory direct. This product has not launched on Amazon yet, and I have a feeling the price is gonna go up when it does. So I wanted to get this video out, uh, show you guys what this thing is made of, and see if this is the perfect system for what you're looking for. So the foundation of these units is the battery, but these power stations are a lot more than just a battery in a box. They give you a number of ways to easily use that battery through DC ports and USB ports, including power delivery, but they also have pure sine wave inverters built in. So on the side of this unit, I have household outlet plugs, normal receptacles that I can plug in devices like a coffee maker or a lamp from home. Now they also build in a solar charge controller so that you can just plug a solar panel directly into these units. And they give you a display screen so in real time you can see data like how many watts you're using, how many watts are coming in from a charge, or what the state of charge is on the system. All of these built together allow you to have a portable unit that gives you some real capability and is super easy to use. Now I include this information for the beginners because I know a lot of people are just getting into this technology using it for home backup or using it at the campsite. But the devil is in the details. So I try to include some of the more detailed information that more experienced users are gonna be looking for. I know that jargon uh, annoys some people and confuses some people, but I encourage you to stick with the basics. The more you know, the more you can get out of these systems, and the better able you are to uh, select the system that's gonna meet your needs. So let's get into some of that stuff now. So Acevolt is using an EV grade lithium iron phosphate cell. They're using a 52 volt configuration of that battery to use as the foundation for this unit. Now what we're talking about there is that you're not gonna be able to wear this battery out. Those cells will get 3,500 cycles before they lose about 20% of their capacity. And on a system of this size, that's gonna last you a very, very long time. Now what it also means is it's gonna be a little bit heavier. This is like a 60 pound unit. So this is gonna weigh a little bit more than like a Jackery does, but you're gonna get some increased durability for that weight. So what you lose in portability here, you're gonna gain in longevity. And for a system of this size, that's a pretty good starting point. The overall appearance on this unit is really nice. All of these units are starting to look the same. The build quality seems great. They're using a very heavy ABS plastic. It doesn't bend when you push on it. You're gonna see right out of the package that it's a higher build quality than some of the name brand units on the market. Now, when you take a look at the AC side, the outlets on this, they give you six 20 amp receptacles. For beginners, not all of these outlets are created equal, even when they look the same. The little outlet that might have come on your car might be good for like 150, 220 watts, and then it trips. It can only be used with really small appliances. This has a 2000 watt continuous capability and can handle 4000 watt surges. I ran my Lincoln welder off of this device. You can run a blow dryer. You can run uh, simultaneous devices. You want to run a coffee pot and a waffle iron at the same time at your campsite. This unit is going to be able to do that. It's pure sine wave, so it can run the most sensitive devices. This is higher quality AC electric than what you're getting at your house. Now I did my efficiency test here, that's really important, but all of these units are starting to get some pretty good numbers. I'm always getting in the mid 80s as far as percent efficiency out of these inverters now, and this unit was no exception. It's very rare to see the 90% and above Almost none of the portable power stations on the market have that. What you wanna make sure you avoid is the 60 and 70% efficiencies, and you definitely avoid it when you're going with this Ace Volt. 
So a really exciting feature about this power station is that it does have an 1100 watt UPS, meaning uninterrupted power supply. That means plug your power station into a wall outlet, plug your appliance into the device and the power passes through. It doesn't use the battery, it uses the wall power. But if the power is interrupted and it goes out, it automatically turns it on to this outlet, utilizing the battery. It takes 10 milliseconds to be able to do that. It's very, very quick. So maybe you go on vacation and you have a fish tank and if the power goes out, the fish tank goes awry. Well, plug your fish tank into this and plug your power station into the wall and it's gonna take care of that. I just talked to somebody who has a sub pump in their basement. It has to be running or their basement floods. If they go away from home and the power goes out, they have an expensive problem to fix. So this will provide a solution to that. Now in all of my testing, that 10 millisecond transfer switch works very well. My desktop computer does not even turn off when the power supply is interrupted. It's that fast. Same with the Wi-Fi router. But it'll depend on your sensitive device whether it reboots or not. But this system is going to transfer power very, very quickly. So including an 1100 watt UPS, amazing feature to come on a discount power station. Now over on the DC side, they give you a 10 amp regulated automotive plug that is uh, excellent for running refrigerators or anything that plug into these DC automotive style plugs. Pretty standard stuff there. There's two 5521s. That's for the DC plugs that people use when you wanna make lights and little gadgets. It's handy when you're building out a tiny home or a cabin. You can run things in your camper off of those. There's a three amp current limit on that. But they give you a 12 volt, 10 amp XT60. Now this is a little unique. But what's nice about this is if anyone's in the overlanding or your camper is shaking when it's going down the road, these 12 volt ports here are notorious for falling out. So you can easily adapt your refrigerator to this XT60 and that's gonna make a much more secure connection. Now what's lacking here that I really love is a high output port. You see that Goal Zero gives you a 30 amp regulated plug. I can run a fuse block, I can run my whole camper off that. I've done videos on that. Some of the Blue Eddies are giving you a 25 amp uh, aviation plug. That's missing from this unit and I'd like to see that. But from what I gather, not many people are using those. So I figure if I keep talking about it, maybe more of these units will give you a regulated 30 amp outputs so we can really run some big DC appliances. So the center of this unit has the USBs as well as the display screen. Now they knocked it out of the park with the USBs and it's about time. I mean, this is cheap stuff. I don't know why some of these companies are skimping on this, but you have two of the old USBs, 2.4 amps. You have two of the quick charge USB, three amp capability for a faster charge and two scorchers here, 100 watt power delivery ports. Now these are monodirectional output only. You can't charge this unit uh, using those. You wouldn't have to. I'm going to talk about charging in a bit, but you can use that to charge your computers, laptops, tablets, and you're going to get an extremely fast multi-stage charge out of these intelligent USB-Cs. Over on this side, you have a power button to turn your unit on and off. You can also tap it to see the screen when it's on. And you have this tent light here that I think is pretty stupid on a 60 pound unit. It uh, has lots of features for brightness and strobe mode, but uh, on a unit of this size, uh, they could have done better. I much rather have the uh, Blue Eddy style of diffused light on the back, but whatever, nobody can be perfect. So if you wanna know what really sets this unit apart from some of the other power stations on the market, especially anywhere near this price range, is they give you a built-in scorcher of a charger. This has a built-in 1100 watt charger. There's no separate bricks. There's no uh, sold separately. The cooling system and the AC charger itself is built into this. You just plug it in with this simple AC cord, no block needed. So uh, you probably have some of these laying around, but of course they give you a good heavy one that comes with it with the purchase. 
1100 watts means I could charge this zero to 80% in under an hour and a half. I could charge it from zero to 100 in well under two hours. If you don't run this unit down completely, you're gonna be getting charge times less than an hour. So imagine running your RV off of this unit during quiet hours and being able to fire your generator up for an hour, an hour and 15 minutes during the day and store up the energy in this to be able to run through the night or uh, times that you don't want the generator running. That's an incredible feature. Now they give you an Anderson input because it obviously it has a built-in solar charge controller. You can plug your Anderson panels in directly or they give you this MC4 adapter so you can plug in any panel on the market. That's really nice because they're not even trying to lock you into their panels. You can buy the, you know, any panel that comes with an MC4. It's got a 500 watt solar input, but with the 50 volt limit, it means you can string your panels in series. So you might be able to save some money on cables or even get a more efficient charge by running higher voltage off your solar panels. So that's a lot for a system like this that costs well under a dollar a watt hour. This is way cheaper than the Jackeries, the Goal Zeros. It's cheaper than the EcoFlow Deltas and the Blue Eddies, and they're giving you some incredible capability here. So let's wrap this video up. I'm just gonna give you an overall list of the pros and cons. There's a lot that I'd like to see different on this system, but there's a, a lot of things that they really knocked out of the park. So on the upside, you have a really good build quality, a great battery that they're using in here. Um, I can run things on this that trip the outlet to my garage. I run heavy power tools on it. That's impressive. Um, the big one we talked about is that charger. It's unbelievable how fast this thing can charge. Now, the things I'd like to see different, I wanna see that high output DC plug. I think a lot more people are gonna use that when we can show them all of the options possible when you include a plug like that. Um, the other thing I don't like, I don't know if you can hear this. I'm sure you can turn this off. I didn't read uh, that section of the owner's manual. I hope you can at least, but these companies, you don't have to make a beep when you push a button. Uh, not for outdoors people. We don't want to hear that. So that's pretty lame. The light is pretty stupid. Um, you know, give us a big light bar, something that we can actually use. This little tiny tent light is no good. Um, the last thing I'll note is I'd like some adjustments on that charger. If you've worked with batteries, whether it's lead acid, uh, lithium NMC, all the varieties of lithium, lithium iron phosphate, uh, as long as I have, you understand that that charge rate really affects how you degrade them. So 1100 watts is awesome, it's impressive, but if I wanna set this on the charger all night, I'd like to turn that down. Uh, so that would be a really nice feature. I see some of the companies are starting to do that, but uh, I do highly recommend this. I want you to jump on that early bird discount to get a really good deal on this, uh, but this is going to come on the road with me. You're going to see how I even power my window air conditioner using this unit and recharge it from the sun. So impressive stuff to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave me a comment and uh, I'll see you next time.